Asthma and cardiovascular disease share a common inflammation route, and so that's what kind of the similarities between these two conditions. So we looked at the multi-ethnic study of atherosclerosis, which is a very diverse cohort funded by the NHLBI, and looked at the association with asthma and cardiovascular disease in that, in that cohort. So what we found is patients who needed, um, who had more severe asthma, that is persistent asthma, which we defined as needing controller medications to control their asthma on a daily basis, had a 60% higher risk of having a cardiovascular event over the decade that we followed them. So I think that this, this line of research is kind of um, uh, early on in, in the stages. Uh, we, we can't say at this point whether it's, it's truly asthma itself causing this increased risk, if it's the controller medications or a combination of both. Uh, more studies need to be done. There's limitations from having observational type studies, but I think what this really focuses on is that, that there is an increased risk, uh, increased cardiovascular risk with patients with se more severe asthma. And what kind of is the reason for that risk is yet to be determined. Asthma, as far as, is, is a pretty, becoming a, such a ubiquitous disorder. Uh, and there's so many people affected. And so there's, there's a whole line of research just in with the prevention of asthma and the pathophysiology of asthma. In relation to cardiovascular disease, what, what the next line to, of research that needs to be done is to really delineate what is driving this increased risk. So we see this increased risk, but does this increased risk really just identify higher levels of inflammation, which we saw in our study. We, we saw that patients with asthma, with persistent asthma, had higher levels of inflammatory markers in their blood. Is it all attributable to that, or is it attributable to a combination of something else about the disorder? Once that's delineated, then, then, then we can really look at methods to try to prevent this. We know that there's an increased risk of cardiovascular disease with, with persistent asthmatics, uh, but you know, right now the things that clinicians need to really take into to account is, is good primary prevention methods. So uh, it's a 60% increase in risk, but if you look at other risk factors such as cholesterol and smoking and blood pressure, that 60% really pales in comparison to the effect of those things. And so really being cognizant of primary prevention efforts in patients with asthma is key.